Hello everyone, I am Aman Kumar from marinasfriendpro.com. So today in this video we are going to discuss about numerical reasoning for the synergy exam. So the first topic under the topic uh, under the section numerical reasoning is problems on trains. So we'll uh, solve the problems based on the uh, this topic and we'll see how to approach the questions during the exam. So let us start with our first question. So in first question we are seeing that a train running at a speed of 60 km per hour crosses a pole in 9 seconds. So what will be the length of the train? So this is a pretty simple example. So here what we see we are given the speed that is 60 km per hour. And then we have this time that is 90 seconds oh sorry 9 seconds so uh, it is a pretty simple example D is distance is equal to speed into time so only thing we need to focus here is speed is given in kilometer per hour and the time is given in seconds so we have to make it in a standard form so 60 kilometer per hour and when we convert kilometer per hour to meter per second we can simply multiply it by 5 by 18 so here we will multiply by 5 by 18 we will multiply it by the time that is 9 so this is 2 times and two this is 30 times which equals to 150 and this 150 is in meter because we have converted this into meter per second and this is second so the distance will be meter then coming to next question the next question is a train of 125 meter long passes a man running at 5 km per hour in the same direction in which the train is going in 10 seconds. So the speed of the train. So here have to calculate the speed of the train. So let us figure out what is given in the question. So here the length is given, the time is given and a man is running at 5 km per hour in same direction. So when uh, when two objects are running in same direction so their uh, their effective speed is subtracted so if suppose it is a kilometer per hour and it is b kilometer per hour so the effective speed will be a minus b because both are running in same direction if both will be running in opposite direction then effective speed will be a plus b so similar so using this only here what we see is effective speed is equal to effective speed is speed of train minus speed of man this is the effective speed so here we have to find the speed of train and here we have given the speed of man as 5 meter per 5 km per hour right now effective speed is what so effective speed is the effective distance by effective time So this is our equation. So effective distance is 125 meter. 125 meter. Effective time is 10 seconds. So this is 10 seconds. Now here we see that this speed is in kilometer per hour, right? And of course the answer of the speed of train will come in kilometer per hour. So we'll convert this meter per second into kilometer per hour. 
So when converting meter per second into kilometer per hour, we will multiply it by 18 by 5. equals to the speed of train minus 5 now we just have to solve this so this goes by 25 then this goes by 5 and 2 this by 9 So which means this comes 45 is equal to speed of train minus 5 so here we get speed of train is equal to 45 and plus 5 that is 50 kilometer per hour So this will be our answer. Moving on to the next question. So the next question is the length of the breeze which a train 130 meter long and traveling at 45 km per hour can cross in 30 seconds. So we'll have to find the length of the bridge. And that is the length of the train is given 130 meter per second. So first let the length of the train is given length of train is 130 meter and the length of the bridge will be coming in meter so we will convert uh, this kilometer per hour into meter per second so speed is 45 kilometer per hour so we'll convert it into meter per second by multiplying it with 5 by 18. So this will be 25 by 2 meter per second. This is the speed of train. And the time given is 30 seconds so here first we'll find the distance distance is speed into time so with 50 25 by 2 meter per second and up uh, if the train runs for 30 seconds how much distance it will cover that will cover 25 by 2 multiply by 30 this comes 15 so this will come 5 carry over 7 30 by 37 so this is the distance which train will cover in 30 seconds but so when uh, the length of the train is given for example this is the distance and the length of train is this so if a train is covering this much distance which means this whole length has to be traveled up to this right So, in order to find the length of the breeze, we need to minus the length of the train from the total distance. So, the length of the breeze will be equal to total distance minus length of the train, which comes to be total distance is 375 meter and length of the train is 130 which comes to be 
फाइव फोर टू मीटर सो दिस विल बी आर 